thought this is a satire, pure satire. This would never happen. But I'd like to introduce you to a novel organization that helps you meet your DEI scores. Are your ESG scores getting you down? Are you going to have a low rating? And will you therefore not sufficiently participate in the new economy? Don't worry. Dystopia Inc. is here for you. If you have been unable to get rid of a sufficient number of uh, white Christian males and they're still on your rolls with problematic family values, um, Dystopia Inc. is here for you. So we come into your organization and for a flat fee of a 30% uptick in your ESG scores when your hiring is deemed perfect and your value system is right on par, this is not forced religious uptake. Mm -mm, it's not conversion of the masses. This is Dystopia Inc.'s solution for your problematic hires that you're unable to get rid of. So what we do is we have you sign over your 30% uptake, and this is a perpetual uptake, but otherwise you wouldn't be able to participate in the economy. So that uptick in money, in your bottom line, in the continual employment of your people, your problematic people, that's a small sacrifice. It's a small little skin in the game, as I say. And not all one size does fit all approach, but um, yeah, there are different sizes. There are many sizes that DEI Dystopia Inc. can take care of. So what we do is we take a lottery system of your problematic men. We do, right? We do. And um, the lottery system will choose randomly who gets castrated and DEI. EI Dystopia Inc. performs the castrations. It's just a little excess skin, a clump of cells. It's nothing else, nothing, nothing, nothing of importance whatsoever. And so um, to our shareholders, I'd like to say that our ESG scores are excellent, our DEI scores are excellent. At the same time, we offer, and there should be government funds coming back to you for this, the implant, the neural link implant, and the first ones coming out, uh, make sure that regardless of what the exterior temperature is, uh, the individual feels hot and bothered by, uh, by climate change. So, so we have your ESG scores going up, we have your DEI scores going up, um, you know, we have government participation, we have stakeholder participation. Um, what we have found to date is that some men who've already had their children are volunteering in for this. Um, we tend not to like that. It's not the right result, but um, as long as we get your ESG scores on par, Dystopia DEI Inc. Um, also would like to say that as the census changes in terms of the genders or the population's melanin content, we may need to come in again and again until the job is complete. Okay, okay. And the excess women that are white and remain on the rolls are for the single fighting age men that keep entering our countries so that's how we take care of that and I'm 27 genders right now as we speak and um, that's good I'm also the surgeon that's why I know all the sizes and um, this is a really good business we're gonna franchise it we're gonna bring it out dystopia Inc it is for your DEI ESG scores. It's just a little sacrifice, just a bunch of clumps of cells that are in excess in your, uh, on your rolls, on your employment rolls right now, and they are preventing you from making the most amount of money, okay? So anyways, this was a satire. What did you think? Please <laughs> share, like, subscribe. Uh, ratio me if you want. I don't hate anyone. Uh, I just like to make fun of the architecture of power that is rolling out, pretending that it's not power rolling out. Um, I'm a lawyer who fought for the little guy a lot of times, 
and I know what the little guy looks like and I know what power looks like and I know that the systems of power that are being erected are for keeps and that if we lose our right to speak against it we're losing more than any clump of cells the reason why we're being divided whether it's by gender or the rainbow or by race or by creed and religion or by immigrant status or not the reason why we're being divided is we are the last generation standing between us uh, or the next generation and permanent digital feudalism. So as long as we're distracted, fighting DEI, ESG, etc. battles, as long as we're divided, uh, distracted from the fact that our nation states are being, all the protections of our nation states are being eroded. As long as we're distracted from that by disease, by breads and circuits, by whatever other, you know, the rainbow, whatever it is, we're distracted by it. We're actually not doing our real social justice job because we are the, we are the entire generation of people left alive that won't wake, be born into digital feudalism. And that feudalism is for keeps. And so if your voice is silenced, it's silenced for keeps because it's silencing the voices that need, that haven't even been born yet, right? The rights of the unborn are nothing, but it's perpetual slavery. We look behind us to eradicate slavery, but we're not looking in front of us where power is really moving. And the unions are, are supposed to be acting for the little guy, the working man, but they're acting for power. Everything is moving is power, it's conquest. And the bills that are coming is for silence. And anyone exacting silence from you is exacting the future where words are theirs. If you have transhumanism, you know, trans rights or human rights, if you have transhumanism, where you have a forced uptake of a neural link or a digital ID or a, or a, a biosecurity system, right? Your first day to your last is designed by those who own the system. There will be no capitalism. There will be no negotiation, you know, for the unions to do. There will be a an owned economic system that is participated in where you are forced to uptake everything that they own. Don't believe me? I don't care. Our voices are silenced and I thought I would do this satire because it would get a lot of press. DEI Dystopia Inc. Right? So we want to divide each other on race, on gender, on sexual orientation, on where we are in the planet. We want to look in the rear view mirror, rear view mirror and discount that this technology, this OECD infrastructure of power is not moving. It's moving. It's moving fast. And as long as we're divided, we are not fighting it for all those who come. The reason why we need to go from 8 billion to 1 billion. <laughs> right? There's not 7 billion white people. Right? Those numbers. I mean, the, you know, the attacks aren't coming for some, they're coming for us all. The digital feudalism isn't coming for some, it's coming for all. The CBDC that's coming, it's not coming for some, it's coming for us all. It doesn't matter who you love or go to bed with, they're, it's coming for everyone, right? Um, I see it 